Hi 4-H Garden Campers. I heard you love gardening and you want to learn a lot about plants. We are here at the Field and Fork Student Gardens at the University of Florida campus. This is an amazing garden and I think we're going to go take a look around. My name is Wendy Wilbur. I'm the State Master Gardener Coordinator and I'm going to teach you a few things that are happening in this garden. We can't stay in the garden always. Sometimes we have to harvest our fruits and vegetables. And I know that you eat your veggies every day, just like I do. But do you really think about what you're eating? What part of the plant are you eating when you eat different vegetables? So let's talk about it. Here I have one of our favorite vegetables, the potato. Also, it can be french fries. What part of the plant is this? This is the root of the potato plant. It's an enlarged tuber that is grown underground of the potato of the plant. And so we have our lovely potato, makes good french fries, and it's awesome mashed too. Have you ever thought that a carrot was a root too? And when you see it with the top of the plant, you can imagine that this is the root that's growing in the ground. When you harvest a carrot, it has all the fuzzy little roots growing all over it. So you know that this is a root. When you eat carrot, it's a root. Now, carrot and celery sometimes hang out together on the vegetable tray. But what part of the plant are you eating when you eat a celery stalk? Here's a hint. The roots are here and the leaves are here. So this is the stem. You're eating a stem of the plant when you eat a celery stalk. And another one of my favorite stems is, do you know what this is? It starts with an A. It's right, it's asparagus. And you can easily see that this is the stem that you eat when you eat asparagus. I love asparagus so much, I'm gonna have a bite right now. That is a good stem. I'm not even kidding. So good. So we've got roots, we've got stems. Oh, I'm having another bite. The next plant part to talk about is leaves. These are the leaves of lettuce. And when you eat lettuce in a salad, you're also eating the leaf. And you can see that this is the leaf. Down here were the roots. This is the stem part of the leaf. And this is a lettuce leaf. So you eat leaves, hopefully, a lot. Another one of my favorite leaves is spinach. Spinach leaves. You can definitely see, it looks like I just pulled it right off of the plant and the delicious spinach leaf. Now I wash this first, so I can also take a bite of this leaf. Mmm, spinach, it's good for you, it makes you strong. The next plant part I wanna talk about probably know that this is broccoli, right? Broccoli is a fantastic plant, so good and healthy for you. The broccoli part is actually flowers. This is a flower that you're eating. It's a little bud. And if you left this go in the garden, each one of these little buds would open up to be a bloom. So this is the bloom of the plant. And that's what you eat when you eat broccoli. I'm not gonna eat the broccoli right now. Don't get afraid. Okay. Now then, what do you think this is? It's a peanut. Peanuts grow underground, but they are actually the seeds of the plant. And if you've ever opened up a peanut, which I hope you have, if you open it up, you can see that the little seed is right in there. So this is the seed of the plant. And if you wanted to plant peanuts, you plant this seed and you definitely can grind this up and make peanut butter. Now the last part of the plant that we eat, I wanna to talk to you about, is the fruit. This is a lime, and this is a tomato, and this is a cucumber, and they're all fruit because they came from the flower. And that's kind of the botanical definition of fruit. A lot of times we think of tomato as a vegetable, but actually the tomato is the fruit of the plant. So we eat the fruit when we eat the tomato, 
or we make a lime aid out of our lime, or we eat the cucumber in a salad. And these are the plants parts that we eat. We have the roots, the stems, the leaves, the flowers, the seeds, and the fruit. And I hope you all are eating your veggies every day.